Good morning, guys. Uh, this is still in the series of remodeling this bathroom. Let me show you what I picked up yesterday. The uh, DeWalt XR Jigsaw. Now, in other videos, you've seen me using a DeWalt Jigsaw. Man, I've had that Jigsaw for years. A long time. Uh, it's something we use quite a bit. And so, I just thought, what the heck, I'll get another one. Pick up another one. So this is the new one. Something I noticed right off the bat is it's got a variable speed on it. Uh, of course, this is your where your blade, you know, goes like this or just straight up and down. Uh, and then of course you got your, here where you can babble it, you have to push it forward and then pull it back, locks it and then lock it in right there. But I actually went to get the 12 Ampire, or no, the 12 volt Milwaukee, and I just didn't like the way it felt in my hand. So then I thought, well, I'll get the Milwaukee M18, and I went over to it, and it just seemed bulky, and just didn't fit my hand uh, the way I liked. So I went over to the DeWalt, and it fit my hand. That's one thing that I've noticed about the DeWalt tools is whoever is designing their DeWalt tools, the grips, uh, he's doing a tremendous job because the grips on these things are good, but we're not gonna do a review on this today. We're just gonna get to using it. So let's do a little cutting. Ideally, I would have my table saw here, but it's at another location, and I'm kind of just doing this uh, job, and I brought minimal amount of tools with me. So we're going to cut this with this uh, new jigsaw. Now guys, this is a custom workbench, so... Uh, I know you're not going to ever see one of these again, and I don't have time to make you one. Uh, but anyway, this is custom. I've got this on number seven. smooth got a really bright LED light really bright very smooth feels good in the hand this flooring has actually been pretty easy to put together I put it together by myself and with limited tools uh, because my tool trailer is somewhere else uh, so it, it's it's went together fairly well fairly easy it has snapped together. I had to put the six amp hour battery on that little 1.5 amp hour. It didn't last no time. It's 
it's amazing how you can make things work, you know, when you got limited resources. When all of your tools are somewhere else. And this actually worked out good it's at the end of that. So I was able to just cut a little circle right there. Then I'll fill that full of brown putty. My knee pads are somewhere else. Everything is somewhere else. But the flooring is, has done, done pretty good. There is times that it would have been good to have had a little help to hold one end and put one end together. But all in all, it's, it's done pretty good. I don't like using this hammer, but it's all I had at my disposal. There it went, popped in. This is where it's be good to have somebody else, you know, to hold that down there for you as you kind of work your way down. But see, it wants to pop it back out up there. And even though that popped in really good up there, it, uh, it would help to have somebody to help you. But I can kind of put my knee over here help hold it and get it there we go it's starting to go there it went so see it's not bad it's not bad at all well I like one board coming down really it'll take two to do that and i got to do this closet so my wife is picking me up another box of this flooring so while i'm waiting on that i'm going to go ahead and grout this right here behind where the toilet's going to go so i can get this grouted and washed and we can get that toilet back in I've got all of that grouted and there and there. I just like uh, the top row up here and then you can see I like uh, there up. And all you, it is to grouting is just making sure you fill that channel up really good and get it pushed in and smooth it off with the little rubber top trial here not really much to it just make sure you get plenty in there and fill it up and then which you'll see here in a minute that i will wash it pretty quickly before it gets a chance to start drying on there because your sponge kind of helps form your grout line and if you let that stuff dry on your tile sometimes you have to get this grout remover this acid type stuff to get it off it it's mad it it really 
will bond to it. But just you just push it in really good and make sure you get it in there real good. And then I'm not going to do the sealing part up here. I'm going to put a little piece of trim up there. You see how it's now starting to kind of turn brown. Where it's so thick, it's still kind of wet. And that's kind of the way you want it. It's time right now to start kind of washing it off. Because that's really as far as you want it to... To really dry because when you start letting it get much past that it'll really get hard to get off. And where I get it on the ceiling right here I've got a little bit of ceiling paint and I'll just uh, if the trim I put up don't cover that up I will uh, just dab a little paint on it. Once you put a little small wiping on it, then turn your sponge over, and you'll see that you'll you just kind of find little dry places on your sponge and, and start uh, cleaning it off. Also, the water helps to smooth your grout lines out and fill in any gaps that didn't. Sometimes you'll get gaps And so the water kind of smooth you, you know, if you ever do this or if you do do it, you know that, you know, if there's any cracks or anything kind of in your grout, that water will smooth it out. Not much to it. Like I always say, guys, I already give you a lot of confidence because I've kind of just learned this. Uh, when I very first started tiling, there was a guy that worked with me named Wayne. That's been years ago. And he, he kind of taught me how to tile. We started tiling some bathrooms together. And uh, I've come a long ways since that day. When he started kind of, when we tiled, uh, I can't remember what we tiled first. If we tiled a bathroom in my house or if we tiled the bathroom over at the duplex. I can't remember what it was or and then there was a house in uh, in another town that we were remodeling to, and I can't remember if it, it was either my house or a house in another town or that duplex I've got that we uh, tiled first. But what I'll do is I'll give this one good washing like this to keep it from crusting up, and then uh, then I'll let it dry because. Right now, if you keep washing it, you're just washing grout out of your line. All you're wanting to do right now is smooth out that grout line and get that grout off that tile. Because I can tell you, man, if you let that stuff dry on there, you got a problem. Uh, you know, and your problem is that it just takes a lot more work to, to get it off. That's your problem. You just better be ready to do some work. 